Hello everyone, welcome to Kyle's Book Reviews. I, of course, am Kyle, otherwise it would be someone else's book reviews. Today I'm going to review a book by Jay Bonansinga. He is an author of many of the Walking Dead novels, um, co-wrote some of them with Robert Kirkman, um, wrote quite a few on his own, but this is not a Walking Dead novel, despite the shirt. This book is called Self Storage. It's a horror tale about a gentleman who brings his young son with him to a self storage unit, which doesn't sound scary to begin with, but what actually happens once they get there, they get trapped, all kinds of supernatural shenanigans go on. Now, I enjoyed the book. I actually read it pretty quickly, though I do tend to read books quickly. The one thing I did not like, the main character is a drug addict. Now, drugs I think are a personal choice. However, I also think that either you control the drugs or the drugs control you. And this is basically someone who the drugs control him. Despite his self delusions about how it helped him out and made him in control. So it was a little harder to connect to the main character because I generally don't identify with heroin addicts because I generally don't shoot up. Actually, I never shoot up. However, it was a very creepy and cool tale and the ending, I'm not gonna tell you what it is because you need to buy the book. But it was very cool. Uh, it did give me thoughts about whether or not I wanted to buy one of these self-storage units or rent it. It also gave me some second thoughts about ever having one of these. Yes, that is a baby. It uh, was definitely a riveting tale and it was very interesting and it actually addressed not only things such as our rampant consumerism in the United States where we like stuff and things and putting them into self-storage lockers. It also talked about child rearing and what's appropriate and so I don't want to give too much away but I definitely would say it's a good book. I would not say it's a cheery book. The intensity of the horror and what happens and the desperation of getting trapped in a self-storage unit which again doesn't sound like it'd be that horrifying but slight spoiler they get trapped on Christmas Eve in a self storage unit so most people around the holidays aren't going to their self storage units all that much so that could actually be a problem with you know no food no water and all that kind of stuff I won't say too much more about that I will say it just got very intense um, Generally, I like books that have a little, at least a little break here and there of maybe a little bright side or something good happening to the characters. You're not going to find that. It just generally goes downhill. Not that they don't solve problems as they go along, but it's definitely not uh, a happy tale. And again, as with most of... Uh, Jay's books not exactly recommended for younger children. I wouldn't read this as a bedtime story to my child if I had one. Um, you might regret what happens after that. But I will give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to buy this book, I put a link down in the description. If you want to comment on this book, if you've read it, let me know what you think. Self Storage by uh, Jay Boningsinga. Give it a shot, and I will see you next time with more book reviews. Happy reading. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it and you want to see more, go ahead and click on the subscribe button. We'll have more book reviews and other video series coming down the line. See you next time.